dislocated for four years, all while I was going through massage school. Really? Oh, yeah. Because of the nature of the shoulder girdle and its muscular attachment onto uh, the base of the skull, the inion, because of the trapezius and the upper four transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae of the levator, we're just going to do a little stretch first. to slip right back in on its own. <laughs> I'm working right down to the inferior angle of the scapula. Then I'm just going to start a little basic stretch here. So arm forward. supported so this is fulcrum. And if in doing that stretch it not only starts to open up the area but it gives you an indicator of the tightness here. Particularly on this angle, if you remember from your anatomy studies, this more responsible for the tightness in this area is pec moyer because of its attachment on the coracoid process at that 45 degree angle. So you just bring arm around, you can just start, first of all, working on pec major, the more superficial of the two pec muscles. Then you can let the person roll back a little bit more like this. body weight with contact here. And this is supported, so you need to have the person open up more. This pressure is okay? Yes. 
So if you feel on yourselves, peck major. And the peck minor is directly below it. So the good way of getting it is just let your fingertips come up to the rib cage and roll up the contour of the rib cage and you'll go right into the lateral border of peck minor. If, if you can feel that. And that really helps release the shoulder barrel. And then just to finish this up, um, we're going to do some acupressure points right above the top of the um, axillary pole. So if you move the arm towards the side of the body, you see the axillary pole, the back of the armpit. And right above that, basically in the belly of the teres muscle, there's a couple of acupressure points and that helps release uh, the shoulder girdle. So you can come in like this. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Not too much? That's fine. Okay. So, and then just finally then there's this point right in the back of the scapula. You feel a little zing there. Okay. So that's 